Hi, it's Reasonable Reviewer, and I wanted to do a review today of this perpetual calendar casting kit. Uh, you could use it with anything that you can cast with. And I'm going to give a little bit of tips associated with it. The first thing is just by way of comparison, the first thing I would say is, so these two boxes are typically the size of an acrylic run, I guess, for lack of a better term. So both of these things together are equal to half of what it took to do this. So the, the first thing that I would tell you is, um, it didn't come with any instructions, and not that it needs a lot of instructions, but um, you're going to need a fair amount of acrylic. The second thing I would say is you need to do it in, in smaller batches. Um, the reason that this is a one batch set is that if you do more than kind of the equivalent of this, which is about mm, probably six ounces, what will happen is uh, you'll get all kinds of bad things will happen with acrylic. It'll it'll uh, harden too quick. It'll superheat and that kind of thing. So if you're using acrylic, which is what I recommend, I recommend using acrylic for this set, then you're going to want to do it in probably two six ounce batches. Now, there's three parts to it. There's the sliders that go in the inside, and there are there are four bands, and uh, this one has uh, moon shapes on it. You know, it goes all the way from full moon to a, a waxing, to a new moon, to, uh, to a waning. So, so it's got uh, it has on twelve separate phases of the moon. Okay. And then it's got one that has the days of the week on it. And you can see what they're inset ever so slightly. And I'm going to come back to that in a second. Then it's got the months, of course, 12 months. And then finally, on the outside, it has the days. And it's got all the way up to 31 days. So this is, uh, and then there's a, a bottom piece that you put these into, right? So they, they slide in there like that. And uh, it's well designed in that there's enough room to put it in. It's not tight, but there's not a lot of uh, wiggle room, so to speak. So they slide in just like that if you do a good job with them. And then on the very top, you have this piece that allows you to read them. And, the, and I'll come back to that in a second too. But essentially, the reading window is here. Uh, and then you, you slide them around the outside. Now, a, a couple of notes. Most of the time when I do acrylics, when I cast them, uh, I almost always only use alcohol dyes and sparkles, like in this case. I mean, it looks, you know, it looks cool. Um, in this particular case, I used mica powder, and I just did this so you could see what mica powder kind of looks like. It has its own kind of uh, specialness to it. You can combine it with, uh, with glitter and with uh, alcohol ink. Uh, the reason I did this is I, I paid a little bit of attention. Again, it didn't come with instructions. It doesn't need necessarily a lot of instructions. Uh, but what I, what I realized in looking at it is, is that these, the actual readings on these things are just insets. And so if I had done it in a completely clear fashion, there would have been really no way to see it. So I, I used a bunch of mica powder in this particular case so I could color these in. I put them so I could color them in and then they would show up. With, and I used a light, a very light background. And for these, uh, and you can see the kind of cool pattern that emerged on its own, uh, there's uh, there's a little bit of craft involved, but mostly, mostly it's uh, you just allow the acrylics and the the dyes and things to do their their uh, work. Now, uh, some things to note. So, first thing is, not all acrylic casting compounds are created equally. This particular one is actually not all that expensive, but it's it's super hard. I mean, you don't want something that's going to be soft for this application. These need to be really really firm and hard for this device to work. Um, the second thing is, is that this particular compound is very good in that I haven't got any sticky spots or things that are half cured 
Uh, this, this particular casting compound is absolutely rock solid and it's relatively inexpensive, so I don't want to turn this into an advertisement for that, so I'm not mentioning the brand. But just realize that you've, you've got to use a decent casting compound to make something like this. So uh, again, the you know volume, it, this is uh, 12 ounces. You're not going to want to do it at 12 ounces all at once of acrylic to do this whole thing. You'll want to do it in two batches of, of six. And then uh, obviously I took each one of the batches of six and I, I divided it and added the, uh, the compound, in this particular case, the mica and or the alcohol, the alcohol coloring or dyes, and then the, uh, the glitter. Uh, the other thing to note, and, and this, this wasn't clear until after I cast it actually, and I, I don't know if you can see or not, I might try to, I might try to do something with this to make it more visible or zoom or something, but there's holes in this base plate on the bottom, and then there's corresponding tabs that are on the reader bit on top. So when you get all done, I was, I thought, truth be told, I, I didn't know about that. So I was just going to, you know, kind of put some adhesive here, 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 and here, and then glue it on and do it in such a way that I wasn't going <laughs> to, I wasn't going to glue the, uh, I wasn't going to glue the inner circles to it. But there are these tabs. So, um, I haven't I haven't put it together yet because I want to go in and color these in, which I'm going to do. Probably going to take me about 20 minutes to do that, and then I'll put it together and I might add some adhesive to it anyway, uh, just to make sure that it doesn't come apart. But I just want to let you know that there. So when you cast it, and these are these would be on the bottom of the cast when you do it. So it it's not something that you have to worry about being in the top. It's it's an integral part all the way from the bottom of this when you do it. All in all, I give it, uh, I give it five stars. Um, I, hopefully this video is helpful for you to learn some of the things that I've kind of figured out by looking at the design, etc. But experience is the best teacher. This is the first time I've used this cast and it turned out great, as you can see. Um, that's not always the case. Every, every, every casting is a little bit different. I think the key is using a really nice acrylic. And then again, understanding that there's these insets and you're going to need to color them in for people to be able to see and realize this has got to be some type of a relatively opaque and light material for that to work. So five stars, really fun product. I'm going to make a lot of these. I'm positive that this is going to become one of my go-to gifts uh, for the coming year. So thank you for watching and look for more reviews.